Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Uh, I believe it's been almost two weeks I upload a video. I've been on vacation, sorry guys. But uh, today we are, I believe, doing SQL injection. Just let me double check. I reset everything. Yeah, so we're still in web fundamentals. And yeah, SQL injection, I reset it. Uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do SQL injection today. Learn how to detect and exploit SQL injection vulnerabilities. As always, guys, I recommend to read through all the tasks to get a full understanding. Um, it might look foreign to you, but as you, you know, uh, have some practice, it will get easier. All right, let's get into it. Task one, brief. Uh, the question is, what does SQL stand for? Basically, it's structured query language. All right, then uh, let's go to task two. What is a database? And the question is, what is the acronym for the software that controls a database as you read through the task? A database controlled by DBMS, acronym for Database Management System. So DBMS. Next question is, what is the name of grid light structure which holds the data? Grid light. And is tables. Or table. There you go. Task three, what is SQL? And as you read through it, it's structure query language. And it talks about the structure of SQL. And please read through it. I'm just showing you guys how to answer this question. And the question is what SQL statement is used to retrieve data as you read through it. Retrieve data is select. What SQL Clause can be used to retrieve data from multiple tables. And as you read through the task, right here, UEN combined results, two or more select statements retrieved from single or multiple tables. So it's UEN, think of it as adding. And the last one, what SQL statement you used to add data? There's delete, update, insert, and I believe it's insert. So there you go. All right, task four. What is SQL injection? So you're adding data to the language, SQL query. And the question is what character signifies to the end of an SQL query? And as you read through it, the semicolon in the URL signifies the end of the SQL statement. So awesome. Task five inband SQLI. So this is a practice for the SQL language as I already load mine. Show split screen. So these are these practice. So you can follow along, which I'll probably do the first task. This is how I learned. So it's talking about union operating. So it's adding. So one union select one. That's a different number. So you add two another error then three my first article 
And so next is asking to change one to zero is union, two, three, then database, SQL one, that's what it produces. Then it goes to this whole long schema. So it's adding table name, adding information, SQL one. So let's follow along. So one, two, let's see, group, concat, table, name, from information schema where table schema equal ql1 so it talks about article staff users then again next step so you can select one, two, group cap, column name. From information schema. So instead of tables, columns. So where table name. Staff users. So ID, username, password. So let's go back, username, group, concat, username. Username. staff users all right so that's the last one and you put this query and it's asking what is the user's Martin's password it's right here copy and paste then that's your level one. What is the flag after completing level one? Bam. All right. Test six, blind SQLI authentication bypass. So as you read, it says practical select from user, username, username, password. So I believe for his username, you just put username. And to make the end query return to we enter the following. So, or awesome. So by putting this one, one equals true. So what is flat after completing level two? I believe, so when you click on this, that is the answer. Awesome. So basically, level two, you input the username and you put this query. So task seven is blind SQLI Boolean base. follow along I know it's pretty long so username limit one so admin so one two three you can select one semicolon dash dash false then put three true then one two three words you can select one two three 
or database. And it says EQ doing it, the process, it will be SLQI. So the next one's one, two, three. Then from information schema. Table name like Hope I got this right. Oops, just making sure that's correct. Let's see, admin one two three. You can select one two three from information schema tables where table schema equal SQLI. Three and table name like so it's false. The next one is users. True. All right, so we're at this part now. Admin one, two, three, information. Schema columns. Columns where table schema SQL Q3 and table name users. Users and column name like faults but yep yeah, you follow along it'll come down to this last one so I'm just going to skip it. You can select one, two, three from users. Okay, from, so one, two, three from users where user name equal admin and password light. So false. At the end, it tells you the password is three, right? So what you do is three, that's true. Then you cycle, that's false, 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 false. Eight, that's true. So what you put is admin four, Three, eight, four, five. And I believe that's the correct answer. Yep, there you go. So blind again, follow along, admin. You in select sleep. Five, so five seconds. All right, it's actually false. So you put, so 
So let's put two. Okay, so seconds five. So the last one says you struggle to find the table name. So this is what I did. You can always Google and try the form, which I have it here. So on the form, it tells you the task and this person nicely tell you the steps. So basically, what you can do is actually even sleep word database, you, you go back here. This is what you do. So you can select sleep five two from users where username equal admin and password like so it's a number right it's okay that's okay So there you go. So when you go through all the numbers, it produces the same one. So for example, cycle. Nope. 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 See, the form helps, really helps, and just understand all these steps. It just basically looking for information, information in schema, the table is SQI4, then you go users, then you find columns, which is the password. And you keep cycling it. There you go. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. And at bin four nine six one. There you go, complete everything. Task nine out bin SQLI. Name a protocol that begin with D that can be used to exfiltrate data from database. Very simple. Right here, D and S. Then task 10, remediation. Just talk about how to remediate. The method for protecting yourself from an SQL injection exploit hint. Very easy. It's prepare statements. All right, there you go, guys. Um, I'm going to timestamp all the tasks so to you guys can uh, take it slower. I know I think I did this pretty fast, but I hope it helps in explanation. And once you complete, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, as I already shared on LinkedIn. And yeah, I uh, hope this video find it helpful, guys. Please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, how should I improve these videos? Uh, as you know, guys, I do not have IT experience, but this is something I like to do. And um, I'm going to show you guys how I answered these questions from tryhackme.com. Try and I'm currently CompTI certified current on IFT plus, A plus, Network plus, Pentest plus, Security plus, CIS plus. Yeah, I should. Uh, I keep telling you, but I'm going to show you guys how I pass these tests within one or two months. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. See you next video. Let's see.